This should be an especially interesting one. Indeed it is. Look at what's on it. This is the extremely juvenile stage if you want to. Infant stage. Give um, a hand selfie. Yes, yes, I'm just finding a place to rest now though. Or um, more specifically a nymph stage actually of a, of a kind of grasshopper. See at the moment it almost looks like a caterpillar. Yeah, mm -hmm. it works. And it's very young. Now basically, these kind of insects, they don't have all the metamorphic cycles, if you want, like, like butterflies might. And um, they just gradually grow up, so a grasshopper eventually becomes a locust. So the grasshopper hops around, the locust can fly. And this one is just very young. It's really interesting, you something. What, do you want to get some? Uh, background. Or against your shirt or something. No, you shirt but green. Shirt really work. Uh, How's that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. A bit close to you. No, well, hold on. Just have a move. This is a very, very young, very, very... I mean, I, don't, I haven't actually seen him this young before. It's, it's very fragile still. And over the next few days, it will slowly start walking and then slowly start growing more and more. But I'm going to put this part down. I'm going to pick another one. in the grass. Now that's the, the base part of that grass. Now you get lots of different grasses and some of them taste different from others over time. I've chewed on all of them. Um, some of them are a bit more sour, so you get a nice sour taste. Which one is this? Here? This one. Yeah, if you can show us the grass as it is. As it is. Yes, oh, I just had that in my hand. The yes, I know you did, but I was like, we were all looking at the caterpillar. Right. There's, there's only one here, otherwise I'd show you. Sorry guys. <laughs> you don't listen to me. This is guinea grass. Thank you. The panicum, it's very, very good. It's quite sweet. So it's called a climax grass. And uh, animals love this kind of stuff. It's really good. Things like buffalo, for instance, they eat a lot of this. They go really fat. Same as rhinos. Um, very, very high in sugar content. So if you chew the base of that, that part of it, you see, you know, to do that. It just gives you a nice sweetish taste and it gives you something to do and you play with it a little bit. And I don't, I don't know, I've always liked it. I don't know, sort of a blade of grass in my mouth. Another one that's around here as well called. Um, it's one of the finger grasses. It looks a bit like rose grass. Actually, in winter time, they go hollow like a little straw. So you can have it in your mouth and you suck it and you've got like air coming through. It's just something you play with. I'm assuming many of you have done it as well. Can you find me another one? Yeah, sure. Okay. 